In this video, we are going to talk about humans turning into robots with Neuralink chips. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Instead of asking, are robots becoming more human? We should ask, are humans becoming more robotic? That is a question that needs to be addressed. Well, this video is all about that, so please watch the video till the end. Elon Musk claims that Neuralink will be able to begin implanting chips in humans as early as 2022. People who have suffered several spinal injuries would be eligible to receive the technology that the millionaire believes will allow them to walk again. In one of his interviews, he stated that Neuralink is effective in monkeys and we are currently conducting extensive testing to ensure that it is extremely safe and reliable and that the Neuralink device can be securely removed. This is something we aim to have in our first humans which will be patients who have severe spinal cord injuries such as tetraplegics and quadriplegics once the FDA has approved it. The device picks up impulses in the brain, which are subsequently converted into motor commands by the computer. Moreover, Musk claims that the technology is safe in the brain and can be easily removed, therefore the only thing preventing Neuralink from moving forward with human testing is approval from the FDA. He said, our requirements for implanting the device are greater than those approved by the FDA, just as our standards for safety are significantly higher than those required by the United States government. The billionaire, on the other hand, has pledged to begin human trials sooner rather than later. In 2019, he was planning to begin testing by the end of 2020. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has a reputation for building up expectations for his company's technology only to underdeliver and disappoint his customers. Several years before Neuralink was discovered in a monkey's brain, Musk showed the technology in pigs. The company's inaugural demonstration took place on August 28, 2020, an event Musk built up by claiming that Neuralink would show neurons firing in real time. Neuralink is a real-time neural network simulation. It was disappointing to people watching the live presentation when they discovered that the neurons were those of a pig named Gertrude rather than those of a human being as advertised. Musk, on the other hand, seems to be extremely confident in the 2022 schedule and the ability of Neuralink to assist paraplegics in walking again. Along with restoring people's ability to walk, Musk has stated that Neuralink's chip may also be used to treat addiction and depression. The billionaire responded to a tweet from a user who inquired whether the implant could have trained section the brain that was associated with the ailments in a tweet made in July 2020. Musk described the procedure as follows. A section of the skull is removed, robots are used to put electrodes into the brain, and a gadget is inserted into the hole, leaving only a little scar in the process. He further stated that the technology may be developed into a full brain interface in just 25 years, which would allow for a symbiotic relationship between humans and artificial intelligence. In other words, it's similar to a Fitbit but with smaller wires connecting it to your cranium. Elon Musk claims that one day it will be able to heal anything from paralysis to vision loss. Our brains are made up of billions of neurons, which are cells with long spindly arms that communicate messages to one another through spikes in their activity. Those electrical spikes travel through neurons in a chain reaction, sending messages to different portions of our brain that are in different states or movements at the same time. For example, you might move your arm, which was created as an electrical spike up here, which brings us to the second part of the galaxy brain's name. How close the plan is to read those electric spikes is to being realized. A kid could send and receive messages, according to Elon Musk, who revealed yearlings. According to nearly all experts, brain cells are similar to electrical wiring, and rather than just having neurons and electrical signals, signals must be sent and received by the kid. In this case, the device is a brain-computer interface that is intended to be implanted directly into the brain by a surgical robot. Same-day surgery is performed without the need for a large incision or general anesthesia. The fact that you are not a coin-sized piece of golf and granite plugs into your brain directly via small microscopic threads about one hundredth the width of a human hair and they link with the neurons in your brain to receive and transmit electrical messages is an understatement. Most significantly, according to Neuralink, these electrodes will not cause any damage to your brain. They do this extremely carefully so that the robot can photograph the brain. They can also make sure to avoid any veins or arteries so that the electrodes may be implanted safely and without any obvious damage. Although it appears as though stabbing something with a wire will cause it to bleed, this is not the case on a micron scale as you might expect. 
because of its wireless charging capability, it has an all-day battery life, and it's built for wirelessly connecting to your phone via Bluetooth with a range of 5 to 10 meters, and the entire thing was successful in the procedure. The entire cyborg experience will be pricey to begin with, but most people believe it will eventually cost only a few thousand dollars. Your ideal price is comparable to that of laser eye surgery. As part of the demonstration, Elon Musk purchased three live pigs. One that did not have a brain implant, one that had a limb implanted and subsequently was able to have it removed without any complications, and a third that went through the process and had a chip implanted in it for two months. In particular, the neurons that were sending and receiving messages from the snout when you're caring are real, and this neural link connects to neurons that are universal now, so whenever every machine is shuffled around and touches something with us now, that sends out neural spikes detected also sort of movements based on brain activity, and we saw the electrodes firing and simulating neurons and lighting up different claim ratings, and that opens the door to some gamification. There's more to it than just making a cork board. The first clinical trials of the link, according to New Orleans head neurosurgeon Matthew McDougall, would be directed at treating conditions such as paraplegia. The FDA designated the device as a breakthrough device, according to the company. While this is not the same as FDA approval, it is a significant step forward in terms of putting a medical device into the field. However, Neuralink is not content to stop there, and it is at this point that we go into full galaxy mode. Some of the more basic ideas include how to learn telepathy, how to replay your memories, how to see an ultraviolet light, and how to cure blindness by implanting the link in the visual cortex. Other ideas included printing mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, and addiction, connecting the link to a heads-up display so you could walk around like a terminator, and how to cure addiction by printing mental health conditions. Oh, and linking your brain to a computer and uploading it to something like a black mirror as well. So what we're getting at is that if your memories are encoded in your memory, you could simply store them as a backup and then restore them. Ultimately, it might lead to your own body or a robot companion. If you're just going to be odd, don't bother. A lot of these concepts are significant, but we didn't get any concrete timetables or any meaningful understanding of how they would function in practice. So while spinal injuries may be linked to the Terminator, don't hold your breath for a transformation into the Terminator anytime soon. Even so, it was fascinating to watch a brain in action in real time. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.